What's up everyone, it's HK Gaming. Today I have for you a build for the Tiny Tina Wonderland. Uh, this build is mainly based on the spell. So, what you need is a spell shot with the grief board. Uh, so this is mainly how we are going to do damage. As you can see. So let's go over the skill sheet first. We'll be using the uh, double spell. So we can have two spell equip. One mainly for the buff and one to do damage. Next we'll have the um, spell damage and gun damage and then spell critical chance one below speed to open up the uh, skill tree five cooldown of course and then one glass cannon to do more damage and then one hyper count to do more uh, damage as well and for the griefborn uh, I will be using the cooldown and the dark magic as well Bonus start magic and then we'll have the companion to boost up the damage for every single one we have plus nine percent and three here so that's total of 27 and then we'll have uh, a little bit health regen for better survivability and then we'll have the bonus start magic damage as well and then just normal grave born uh, skill tree and the reason why we are not doing the double knot is that um i've been farming this for a while but i couldn't find one but i got this item from other safe uh, which gave us plus free double knot i'm not sure if this is a uh, legit uh, i have not yet seen it the maximum that i see i think is plus one so i'm not quite sure yeah, so if anyone knows if the gear is legit, where you can have free double knots, uh, please tell me at the comment section below. Um, we can take advantage of that and get the uh, Griefborn skill tree in here. As you can see, my uh, myth rank is uh, it's not even full yet. I think, I think that's good enough. We got everything we needed. And then let's go over for the uh, uh, item first. Uh, for the melee, you can put whatever you would like. Honestly, uh, I'm doing this because it has the ice damage, and it's look pretty cool, I think. But uh, yeah, you can put whatever you like in here. Um, I'm using the uh, spellcast increased damage by 15% for everything so that's just easier for us to manage if we need to change something up or whatever that's easier and then of course we will be using the uh, pixel companion for the first gun which gives us a little bit more damage and the best thing about this is it auto locks the enemy so it will go look for the enemies for you so that's pretty convenient and the second one is the gun that you want to do damage, whatever you like. Uh, I'm using the SMG. And uh, this one I'm using soak enemies take more damage from lightning and frost. Um, but this you don't really like you, you don't really need to use this. I'm putting this just because because uh, we will be using the tiebreaker here it do the same effects where you do more ice damage or frost damage I mean so uh, this is just here but if you want to use other spell I have a uh, other set of spell the way you can use uh, this one will boost up your damage for a little bit but I uh, will get into that later 
and then for the ring I got it from uh, someone else safe as well I couldn't find a spell crit hit chance and critical hit damage I have no idea of why other uh, players are so lucky but um, yeah I duplicate the one ring and then this is the tier and then Shell of course will be using the kill him he's not the important anyways this is the best uh, by far it adds up a lot of damage for you and then for this I've mentioned before with the double knot let me know if this is not legit and then frost damage and spell shot power of course for here plus all damage deal that's important to you but uh, if you do not have the perfect gear item for all this that's okay uh, you can still play this it will still do a lot of damage the other option that you can use is the triple ice the triple ice spike with the buff so after you buff and you hit the triple ice this will do the most damage I forgot to show the heal stat as well um, crit chance and crit damage of course and then we'll have the spell cooldown as well one thing is that when you're facing air like this you always want to use the pixel that is a better choice Mainly use your spell and the pixel. Plus, the pixel is full auto, so you don't have to look for the enemy or anything like that. And then any elites or anything you see that has a little bit more health, then you can just use your spell. You can see I'm just rolling around and I have no problem surviving. As you can see you can play pretty reckless with this spell which is roam around and then it just kill everything for you. You don't have to really aim for it or anything like that. If you have any ideas or any improvement that I can make on this, please leave it at the comment section below as well. And that will be it for today's video. If I like, if you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be making more gaming videos. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.
Okay. <laughs>